As governments all around the world are preparing to lift restrictions and exit the great lockdown, the most important question is what will happen next. There are three possible scenarios. The first potential outcome is the so-called best case scenario. We all start again from where we left off, we go back to living our lives as usual and people won't get sick. If this scenario unfolds, we could see an unprecedented economic recovery. In the second scenario economy reopens, but people will still be scared and will not rush to spend money. In this case, an economic recession might be unavoidable. The third, and also the worst case scenario is when we open up the economy, but people start getting sick and possible new lockdowns might be issued again. If this happens, we might see Great Depression kind of economic collapse. I will cover all of these possible outcomes in this video, so make sure to watch till end, give it a thumbs up and please, don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Getting back to this extremely important topic, the spread of this new illness and hence lockdowns all over the world had a great impact on economy. As many companies shut down and millions of people have been fired, economy is basically put on hold at this point. The International Monetary Fund, the IMF, stated that we will likely see the worst crisis since the Great Depression of the 1930s. I covered this topic in a previous video, which I will link here, so I won't be talking about the IMF's economic outlook report today. A few things are worth mentioning though. European countries' economy is seriously affected by lockdowns and so is the US economy. In the past five weeks we've seen the fastest unemployment growth in history, as more than 26 million people filed for unemployment. We also saw negative oil price for the first time in history, the reasons of which I explained in a previous video. We are also seeing the biggest drop in real estate demand. Given all of these problems, governments are starting to lift restrictions and making steps towards reopening the economy. This made the stock market rally as investors are going from panic mode to hoping the economy will bounce back and growth on the market is expected. And here comes the big question, what happens when the economy reopens? Let's jump into our first possible scenario. People return to their normal lives. Companies restart their activities, call back fired or furloughed employees and, if everything goes well, hire new employees. This is actually very important, because when companies start hiring, it means more people will have money to spend. If they spend money, that means they buy products and services, which is good for businesses, as they can grow and hire more people. It's like a chain reaction. If this happens, we might experience a very fast and big economic growth. The second possible outcome of reopening the economy is not so positive, but more probable, according to experts. After weeks of lockdown, people might still be afraid to travel, go to restaurants and crowded places in general. Now, if people are not really traveling, Airline companies will struggle to stay afloat and so will hotels and restaurants. Tourism-based countries and territories will be hardest hit. But the repercussions go way beyond this, because as I explained earlier, if people are not spending money, companies will also be struggling financially and will cut costs by laying off people. This could also mean a new wave of layoffs, which would also mean the value of some stocks declining as well. Remember, the stock market rallied because investors hoped that by reopening the economy, people will start spending money and companies will grow. If this does not happen as expected, panic could settle in once again, which could push us into an unwanted recession. But we haven't discussed the worst case scenario yet. In this one, economy is opened up, but the illness starts spreading quickly, people are getting sick and new lockdowns might be issued. The idea behind lifting restrictions is pretty easy to understand. If governments keep the economy locked down for too long, the consequences of people and companies not working could be very harsh, financially and economically speaking. On the other hand, if the illness is not contained as much as it possibly could be, and the economy is reopened too soon, a second wave of this new illness might be even worse. This happened back in 1918, when the Spanish flu was spreading. When people thought it went away, it came back even stronger and the second wave of it was more brutal than the first one. I don't think we have to be the greatest economists to figure out, that a new lockdown could potentially bring an economic collapse, possibly greater than what the world experienced during the Great Depression of the 1930s. Which scenario do you think will unfold? Leave a comment below, share your view on this matter. Thank you for watching, see you soon and don't forget to subscribe.